Hello everyone, and welcome back to Brick Country. Mason here. Today we are gonna be reviewing a awesome Lord of the Rings Lego set. Set 9470 Shelob Attacks. And with 227 pieces, this is a pretty decent sized set for its time frame and its original price of $20. Now, obviously it costs a little more than that nowadays. I can share prices later in the video, but for now, let's build and enjoy this awesome set. Taking a quick look at the back of the box, you can see it's the typical backdrop for a Lord of the Rings set. They almost look like paper nailed into it. You have the weapons that come in the set and then the various poses and functions you can do with the set. Looks like you can tie Frodo up with the web and even hang Shelob from it, so that's pretty cool. And there's also this fun little advertisement for the Lord of the Rings video game in the back, rating pending. So it was ver the very early processes of the game and that is a very fun video game. So I really like seeing these like original advertisements for it. And I think that's really fun. You can also see there's a lot of map of Middle Earth backdrop throughout the box art. And I really, really like that. Let's start off with the instruction manual. You can see it's got that nice glossy finish and inside it's the older instruction manuals. You can see there's the map of Middle Earth kind of faintly in the background and flipping to the back, which is what I love doing with all my Lord of the Rings instruction manuals. You can see the old advertisements for the Lord of the Rings at lego.com as well as the all the minifigures from the lineup. It's crazy to think that a few years ago I didn't have any of these, but now I almost have the full set and that's really cool to think about. You can see they're also advertising Attack on Weathertop and Helm's Deep, two very awesome Lego sets, as well as the Lord of the Rings video game and announcement that they are going to be doing the Hobbit line. Of course, we already have the full Hobbit line, but I just love looking back and seeing these very fun advertisements in the instruction manual. Taking a look at the figures first, you can see we have three in the set, included in that is Frodo Baggins with a dual side of face, one showing this pale, scared look, the other being more calm. He's got a nice gray cape and you can see some nice printing on his torso and he's obviously holding the one ring. Next figure is the one and only Samwise Gamgee. This is actually a set he was exclusive to. He did not come in any other sets in this in particular version. You can see he's holding Sting and the Light of Arindil, I believe it's pronounced. And then he's, you see he's got some very nice chest printing. He's got a scared face and on the other side he has a slightly braver face. And this is the only set he came in, so it's really cool to have him in the collection now. And then the last figure is probably the least exciting. You get a Gollum figure, but it's a very good Gollum mold, and they don't make it anymore, so I really like having it in the collection. You can see he's got the bigger eyes, one of the variants of him. He's got some balding on his head, very nice molds here. And he's also got his loincloth and bent legs, so he's in like a very unique position, but for a minifigure that is, for Gollum this is perfect, and he's also holding a fish. Very nice. Taking a look at the set itself, you can see it also obviously comes with Shelob and a little rock structure to go with your figures. The rock structure you can hide Gollum in, there's some vegetation, and then also you can recreate the scene where Gollum kind of jumps at Frodo, so you can put him on this little catapult and actually launch him. We can try that real quick. Just kind of set him on here and launches pretty well. Yeah, so I prefer him having him hiding for display purposes, but you can have that play function of launching, which I really like that they included. And then you can wrap Frodo up. I'm not gonna take the time, I think, to uh, reel him out all this, but you can see Shelob is a very sizable spider build, a very nice spider build. She's got a nice printed face element. You can see she's missing one eye. Some red pieces underneath, so at this angle, it looks like the inside of her mouth. I was really worried about the, all these old brown pieces because as you may know, brown cracks very, very easily in older sets, especially Lord of the Rings ones. But so far, these have held up very well. I don't see any cracking or signs of damage, so that's very nice. The uh, spinnerets, I believe it'd be called, or abdomen are rotatable. You can pose it how you want at different angles. And then there's also a, fun the main function of the spider is a, there is a hook with a white string and a gear on the bottom. So you should be able to actually, yeah, with a little help, pull out some web length. And I really want to try this as it was advertised in the back of the box. Let's see. Okay, so you can pick the spider up by the string. 
string. It is strong enough. You see on the belly, there's the gear that you can crank it up as well as some big wheels or little wheels on the bottom that you could, if you wanted the spider to almost rest on the ground, could roll a little bit. But I prefer having her up on her legs, which I think is very nice. The last thing I wanna talk about in this review is the original price of the set and current price. This set was only $20 when it first came out. You heard me right, a retail price of $20 for such an awesome Lord of the Rings scene. This is actually only one of three Return of the King based Lego sets. They only made three being the pirate ship Lego set, which comes with the Soldiers of the Dead, Battle of the Black Gates, which you get the only Gondor related minifigure being Aragorn in his king armor, and this set. That's it from Return of the King, which I think is pretty sad. But now if you wanna get this set sealed, it'll cost you near $120. That is crazy. Now that is about the uh, average price of what I'm seeing it go for. And that is just crazy to me. That thing is $100 more than its original retail value. That's cr you're paying for this. This is sealed by the way. So if this set sealed will cost you about that much. Now I didn't pay that much. I got the set used. So I brought it down to about half of that. But it's still crazy to think that a Lord of the Rings Lego set is worth that much now. Well, there you go. That has been my review of the Lego Shelob Attacks Lord of the Ring Lego set. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe for more awesome Lego content and comment below what your thoughts are on this amazing set. And I'll see you guys later. Farewell.